the quantum deck. Is it any good? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome to the very first Deceive Reality Magic Review. And what better product to start with than the Quantum Deck by Craig Petty, which is something that everybody's been talking about lately. And I pre-ordered it, I actually pre-ordered two, one from Penguin and one from Alexam. Alexam got here first. So I'm going to be reviewing the Quantum Deck. We're going to go break it down, a few different sections. So let's get started with what do you actually get if you order the Quantum Deck by Craig Petty. So... You're probably wondering what you get if you order Quantum Deck. Well, this, as you might have seen already, is the packaging. So this is how it comes, which is really nice. It's got a little sliding feature here and your deck will be inside. So the deck comes in this really cool white clear box. So there's no real markings on it. It just says that it's made by the US Playing Care Company. That's it. Super cl clean and clear. And what I really like about it is it actually goes really well with the Eclipse cards that you get if you were to buy... Uh, the Eclipse by the 1914. I think these could look really cool together if you're performing. Having the two of them in your pocket together can look really cool. So th this is the main thing you get when you order the Quantum Deck. So inside the packaging as well, you also get on the back, you will get your instructions, which is a link to the Murphy's Magic website, and of course the password, which I won't be showing you. But you get the deck, and inside the deck you get enough cards to perform all the routines you need, and also you get some spare cards in there as well which is really nice because with those spare cards if any of your cards ever get dirty from performing on a table or a spectator might just put some dirt on it, some food, if you're performing at banquets or lipstick or who knows what we've all seen how our cards end up at the end of a gig so these could end up like that so you have some spare cards you can swap them in and out and make sure that your deck never looks too grubby which i think is a really nice touch that you actually get them so that's really nice so overall what you get is you get the quantum deck so if you order a quantum deck you get a quantum deck who would have thought and you get these amazing packaging which i think i'll be keeping my quantum deck in the packaging at all times because i really think magic packaging has gone to a different level in recent years i'm from the generation of getting just plastic bags with a little piece of paper so this is really nice it will keep the deck safe and you'll be happy out so that's what you get so now i want to talk to you about the instructions so the instructions that you get with the quantum deck are monstrous it's over five and a half hours especially with some of the new bonus features that have been added in and with the extending the range and some really cool other ideas that craig talks about so the inst instructions were shot in the smoke and mirrors bar in bristol and it's craig sitting at a table talking to the camera doing all the explanations uh, lloyd barnes is behind the camera who helps him in some of the performances to camera but outside of those performances there are actually 18 real performances for you to watch it's over an hour of performance footage which is just incredible and you get to see him performing on zoom for magicians like you would have seen in the trailer at bars at events close up at tables and on stage there are all the different situations you could imagine performing quantum in there are performances there of craig performing the quantum deck in it which is absolutely great to see and the quality of the the instructions is just it's second to none anybody who's bought some from craig before knows that he likes to really go in depth and give you as much of value as possible so you definitely with the instructions get loads of value and you get to go through all the routines so some of the routines you get taught are the carrot on a number that you see in the trailers and you all see the any carrot on a numbers there's transposition some magic effects crazy stuff there's crazy amounts of effects they also talk about how you can use the deck as a forcing deck if you want to so i've actually got two as i was saying so i'll be turning one of mine into a forcing deck by having it so i can force any celebrity or any city in the world or whatever i want to do i can write on the cards and be able to force whatever i want which is such a cool feature of the deck that really if you have like a, any trick you can do with a spent pad really you can do uh now with your quantum deck in a super fair dealing out exactly to the number they say and that's the thing they get so the instructions overall i don't think anybody can have any complaints with the instructions because the instructions just really are in-depth lengthy but also if you just quickly want to learn how the trick works within the first 15 minutes of the actual instructions you will know how it works i will say at the beginning i did find it a bit overwhelming when i was getting all the information how the trick works but after a few few minutes of just processing my mind and trying it a couple of times it was a lot 
calmer for myself because I was worried for a while that, oh my God, is this going to be something that I'm going to be able to do reliably? And uh, we're going to talk about that next about, is this a difficult trick? So we'll move on to that now. So is this trick difficult? As I was saying a minute ago, the instructions at the beginning, I did find it a bit, oh my God, am I going to be able to do this when it was being explained? Because Craig really goes in depth and shows how it works. And there is a little bit of mental stuff that you need to do. And then there's some physical stuff. And it, it's not even difficult. It's just in the moment you want to make sure that you can do this smooth and clear and not be stumbling over your words or not sure what to do. But I think it seems harder to do when you hear it than it actually is to do in practice. So I sat there, started thinking up numbers at random, would have my wife tell me numbers at random, and I would just try dealing to it. And once I was able to do it, it's so easy. It's actually, Craig has said it's almost self-working. When you're doing it, it feels that way. Because once you start doing it, you realize how easy it is. It becomes second nature and you can just hit it every time. And that feeling of hitting the card, no matter what number's name, just performing yourself is amazing. It actually reminds me of in the Cognito instructions for people who have that app by Lloyd Barnes, he talks about performing the trick on yourself and ask you to do it. You get this amazing feeling of seeing the trick yourself. And I feel that similarly when you're performing the first few times in quantums yourself or <laughs> maybe forever, every time you're dealing, you're like, oh, is this going to work? Is it right? And then you see it ex that position every time. It's just incredible as a feeling. I, I've just been performing it for myself since I got it and it's absolutely amazing so is it a difficult trick no it's not a difficult trick but it will take practice to make sure that it's smooth that you're not stumbling over your words you know what you're doing you feel confident and the audience don't feel that anything's going on so like any trick you should practice it but on a scale of difficulty i'd say this is right down there if you can do any sort of basic magic you can do this if you if you're using i guess fengali pad or a stripper deck or anything even the the basics you can do it with just a little bit of practice you'll be flying through it so definitely not a difficult trick so for those of you who have watched the the see reality podcast and if you haven't watched the see reality podcast watch the see reality podcast it's on youtube on this channel and also on all the audio platforms but i have a co-host steve spade so steve and me have very different methods of buying magic. Steve is very precise in what he buys and wants to know that the stuff he's buying will work for him 100%. I tend to buy a ridiculous amount of magic because it's an obsession. I want to know as much as I can at all times. So I probably have the biggest bottom drawer in magic. But whenever I buy a trick, Steve always asks me the same questions about the trick. So I have these questions here that he also was asked me about uh, the quantum deck. So I'm going to go through it and we'll see what these questions are so the first question is will i do it so that's a question that i think everybody wants to know when you buy a trick is will you do it so for myself i'll definitely be performing quantum deck i will be performing it a lot i will be performing it often i'll be performing it close up i will be using it on stage in comedy clubs everywhere it's definitely i'm going to be buying a lot of these because i'm going to be using it a whole lot second are you happy with your purchase so yes i am because i will be buying it again i think it's quite good value especially when you look at all the instructions that you get with it that you can use it and it's uh, so much work has gone into the deck that it's perfect once you get it and it's, it's just ready to go which is really good i do um th think that it's something that maybe going down the line i do hope that they are refills or that you can buy them in bulk or things like that so i think a brick of quantum decks would be absolutely amazing so that's something that going down the line i hope they have but right now i'm definitely happy with the purchase the other question is, should Steve get one? So me and Steve perform similarly, but we have our differences. I do a lot more mentalism than Steve, and Steve does a lot more classical magic and escapes and that side of things. So I think this, uh, it's a tool rather than a trick that would suit everybody. Even on the instructions, Craig talks about how you can perform this for kids and how you can do routines for at weddings and corporate events and there's so many different places this could be i can't think of any magician who really who couldn't find a use for quantum deck i feel like i'm overselling it now but it, it's, it's 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 a tool that you see in the trailer that it's a card at any number but this could be anything that you want so definitely with your own imagination and coming up with ideas it's definitely something that i think everyone will find a use for and then Steve asked as well, is there anything else like it out there? So there are other Cardani numbers. There are other Annie Cardani numbers. There are other 
tricks using blank decks. There are other tricks using similar principles like this, but there's nothing I think that uses everything together in this way. I haven't seen anything like it out there and I don't think many other people have seen anything out there. And especially that it's a tool. You're not just buying one trick. You can do so many tricks even with your quantum deck. If you set it up for a forcing deck, then you can only use it for that purpose. But with a, just a normal quantum deck, you can do so many different routines with the same deck over and over again, be killing it. So it's definitely one of those things that I don't think there's anything like it out there at the moment, but it's going to just be something that I think every magician's going to have one at least of going forward. So those are the answers to Steve's questions. And now we're going to talk about frequently asked questions. So we move on to that. So frequently asked question for this one. I think this time instead of frequently asked questions, it's going to be frequently asked question because there's only one question that I've seen pop up on the Magic Cafe and Facebook and forums everywhere. And that is, can the deck be examined? Now I've seen Craig answer this loads of time showing full performances where he just hands the deck to magicians, hands the deck to lay people and definitely i definitely think this deck is examinable 100 percent. i wouldn't have no problem with it once i got it even before i watched instructions or anything i took the deck i handed it to my wife and said do you think there's anything wrong with this deck or does it feel weird to you in any way shape or form and she had a look at it and was like it's just blank cards what are you talking about it's it, it's just blank cards and that's that's what it is it's just blank cards and then so then for lay, for lay people, you feel confident. You can just hand the deck to people. Nobody's going to find anything. They're going to be happy. You're, they're not going to find anything. You're going to be uh, sailing. It's, it's amazing. You just give it away. And then Craig also talks about on the instructions how to make this so it's even more examinable if you wanted to give the deck away or if you wanted to perform for magicians who you want to be super fair with. And he spends about 20 minutes going over the process of making the deck work perfectly the same as it does with your same deck that you can just give the deck to the a couple at a wedding and they can take the deck home with them or you can perform for your magic friends and they won't be able to use the deck or, or find anything there that is completely out of the ordinary to them so that i think is is the most question and it's 100 examinable if people are telling you that this deck isn't examinable they haven't watched the fucking instructions that's it's pretty much that if you haven't watched the instructions and you say it's not examinable just watch the fucking instructions that's what they're there for someone spends 20 minutes telling you how the deck can be examined and showing you that they have done it the deck is examinable so i think once you watch instructions you'll understand you know the deck's examinable but once you start using it it's 100 percent examinable and that's the question that i've seen everybody asking so i hope that helps so now I want to talk about if there's anything I don't like about the quantum deck. So there's always going to be ups and downs. There's always things that as we can't do real magic. So there's always going to be limitations. These are limitations I think is very open when you buy it. For example, like you, the magician has to do the dealing. You can't have a spectator do it. And all these sort of things are there. But I think it's something I mentioned earlier. I hope that you can buy bricks of these. I hope that you can buy refills of these easier i know they're sold out everywhere at the moment so it'll be a while for this to happen but i, hope, I do hope maybe like next year or something that you can start buying them in bulk because i know i'm going to be using a lot of these so i hope that that's something that i really hope comes uh, comes down the line and then for anything else that i didn't like about it is the i think no <laughs> i think it's i think it's really good it's just it's a trick i know i'm going to be doing quite a lot I'm quite happy with it. My only downside is that I can't have more of them. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. So we're going to talk about ratings. I'm not going to give tricks percentages or anything like that, especially for any of the reviews I'm going to be doing. My ratings are going to be very simple. They're going to be about whether you put it in your bottom drawer or in your performance bag or in your everyday carry. Those are the ratings that I'm going to be using. And this is definitely going in my close-up bag. It's going to go in my stage bag. I'm going to be performing it at all my upcoming gigs on stage on uh, close up when I'm walking around I'm going to be doing the card on any number I'm going to be using the forcing deck it's going to be part of my go-to routines it won't be part of my everyday carry maybe occasionally if I'm going out and I know I'm going to be asked to perform I might bring it with me but everyday carry no it doesn't really it's not really an everyday carry trick so I wouldn't but so for me it's going it's a worker it's going in my close up bag it's going in my stage bag with one for each at the moment so that's what where they're going to go and i think that's the rating i'm going to give it it's a worker it goes in my close-up bag 
So that's my review of the Quantum deck. It's <laughs> pretty much a glowing review, to be honest. So not all of the reviews in this channel are going to be glowing. There are going to be some tricks that aren't going to get as good reviews or any good reviews. But for this, I really think it's an absolutely amazing product. It's going to be one that I'm going to be getting a lot more of. I'm going to be using it all the time. I, I've been messing with it constantly since I got it. It's all I want to do is just deal the cards, have it hit, do it again, over and over. Super excited about it. I will be doing a revisited in a few months' time. It's something I'm going to start doing for the reviews where you always get the, the hype when you first get trick. Super excited about it. So in a few months' time, or maybe even next year, I'll do a, a revisit on it to see am I still using the quantum deck and am I still as excited about it so definitely keep an eye out for that so make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and definitely check out some of the other videos on this channel we've interviewed some of the biggest names in magic from Daniel Garcia to Mike Lamar to Craig Petty himself on this channel so make sure you check out those podcast episodes or find them on your favorite podcast app or wherever you get your podcast from so thanks so much for watching and have a great day and we'll see you next time